Hey guys, what's up? It is Sarpnik here, back in the episode of FNSMP. We're at the public Enderman farm. I'm preparing for a new project, my friends. This is two days, or uh, like, I didn't record yesterday, like two days after the last episode. Uh, I've started slowing down recording because mostly uh, the SMP is really getting to its late days. But I'm heading to the Ender Ender to start a new project. Now, in episode five, I discovered a shipwreck close to spawn that I want to make my my own, actually. Ooh, this is actually a pretty cool tunnel. Uh, as you can see, I'm swimming slowly. I've just got myself new boots. Uh, I've got Depth Spire 3 on these, and I've got Feather Falling 4 on these. I'm actually heading to the Ender Ender to get XP so I could actually enchant those. Obviously, wouldn't you be recording Minecraft? What else, dude? What else? This is actually quite ugly. Like, really, if you could add, like, more... Like, decorative ocean to the side. I know that's pretty risky because it's the end, but still, that would be great. Alright, here are the Endermen. I'm not going to be storing any Endermen. So. Here for the XP, baby. And is that Rashi? Nah, it's just some dude named Remy. Aww. But I'm here at the Kingstone Capital City to talk to my buddy Rashi because I've got a little reward for him. Ah, thorns. Shit. There we go. He's gonna get- I basically was at my base, and I just, like, mined some- my, Collected some wood for him. And he's gonna give me something. I'm not sure 100% what it is. And there's an old man. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what he's taking right now. Hmm. Ah. Okay. That was good, actually. The texture that comes out, those will be coin texture. Okay, then. I guess, I mean, this guy seems to be working on some stuff. Pretty cool. Cool place he's got around here. Sure, I'll give you a stack of sand per crown. A little extra to promote you to promote you some crown. Okay, to promote you some crown. Okay. I really don't care about these crowns, so... Ooh. Come on, I gotta toss off some stuff. Thanks a lot, my friend. Thanks a lot. I will be on my way, thanks to the kingdom developing kingdom of Kingstone, and King Rashi, and thanks to you, Sarfnik. Oh. Yeah. Your business is always welcome in the capital. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. Thankfully, Rashi was nice enough to let me use the super smelter, and it turns out I had the right amount, so I don't have to go over glass or anything. Exactly six stacks. But we are here now. In between episodes, I did clear this out, but there's not much here for you to see, anyways. But we're gonna do a Greended in his Hermitcraft uh, series. Create kind of like a shipwreck in a bottle type thing. All right, this is gonna be tough now. Uh, I want to get rid of these. And there is a conduit effect. I think it goes all around, actually, right? Let me just make sure. Yup, it seems to go all around, so we are good. Don't have to worry about air, oxygen, or whatever that is. So let's start kind of cleaning this up for now. And, my friends, we are going to do a time lapse of me setting up this video. So let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, that's like almost half of the thing, I believe. I did waste about like, I'd say six. I wasted about like six total of the glass. And actually, what was kind of annoying was over here, the conduit doesn't reach, as you can see. It turns into power, and then it just turns so dark. And that may look a little weird in the time lapse. I'm sorry about that. Not my fault. Basically, this is like right by the border of the conduit. Actually, you can see there's no conduit effect over here. The conduit effect doesn't start until around, actually, that's right here, I think. Yeah, it starts something like right, 
Yeah, like right around here is when it starts. So it turns out my boat's in like the middle of that, which is a bit annoying, sadly. But sorry about that. But yeah, I'm actually going to continue some work off camera and probably just collect more sand. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys. So I just wandered into War's storage room to search for sand for my thing. Very desperate indeed. But I found this. Uh, I did not sign this at all. Enjoy the doorbell. Consider this war. Now, crap mentioned that you're going to war with, uh, war cries. I think. Might have been today or yesterday. So maybe this is his style. Of <sighs> yep, this was automatically crap. That was crap. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have no idea where it is. Where is it? I don't take this very nicely. Uh, Krat trying to brew, brew up a war, huh? Hey, polar bear. Uh. All right, Krat. Now it's war, baby. Now it's war between me and you. <laughs> this is going to be a big problem. I just got back from talking about Krat. He says he doesn't care if I prank him. So I felt like that's a free invitation for a prank. <laughs> a pretty good prank, if you ask me. The same old prank I've been doing for so long, my guys. The water bucket prank. I love that prank so much. It's my favorite style of prankage, honestly. So basically, we're going to need a water source, and then we can just start setting this bitch up. Wow, Krat, it seems like your house is kind of leaking, buddy. Uh, your dogs kind of are in a bit of trouble, though. But welcome to Krat's new underwater house, baby. This looks awesome, baby. Clearly nothing has been damaged except torches, which I have collected some of, so I will return those to him. But this was actually kind of an annoying prank to do due to how... The water is kind of really glitchy here on Everneth. But, yeah. I'll try to see. Okay, the windows are leaking because you can waterlog windows. And it looks so much better if you waterlog windows. So I decided to waterlog the glass panes. And it just causes them to leak, which I guess creates kind of like a good effect for it, honestly. If I could enhance this, I would create like a fishbowl so the whole thing's underwater. And this house is just like in some huge fishbowl. But I need glass for my project, obviously, so I'm not going to do that. That's just plain plain logic, plus it would be really stupid. So yeah, here's his now underwater house. Hopefully he enjoys it. Uh, that's bad. But yeah, if we get a tour of the house over here, we've got his chest room, his main room. His armor stand was, like, I think, in this one of these corners, and it got moved over. Then we've got, if we head down here... Yeah, just the staircase room. And his porch, which is completely overflown in water. And that's about it for this prank, my dudes. So directly after this, I message Krat, and he gets on to clear the prank. He sends me some angry messages about how impossible it is to clear, and how one of his wolves died. I tell him I can join and help him clean it up, but he denies. Apparently, he got help from H.G. Wix and OK8. They use sponges and then plan to prank me back right away. Here's a chat feed from right before I joined, which was exactly an hour and a half after the last recording. So guys, it's the same night. Kratz on right now, I believe. Uh, he basically reacted like right away, about an hour ago. So I'm logging in to see what he did. 
Oh, it seems like his house is normal, huh? Uh, one of his dro dogs actually drowned. He was pretty mad about that, but... His house is normal. <laughs> Hello there, Krat. I murdered Jimmy. <laughs> uh, I saw him over here, though, so... Keep an eye out. Wait, who's that? Who's that? Old guy. An HG. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here exactly? You got some explaining to do, buddy. Did you just review your prank? Crap. He's angry at me. Don't get him near me. He's actually angry at me. <laughs> Watch. Hey, Jeff. Hey, he's oh, Jeff he's the not, polar bear. You he's, he's, not, he's not angry with me anymore. You know don't question why Wix is here. Why don't, don't, my don't, you know don't, I named my episode... Don't, don't question why Wix is here. You know I named my episode 1 uh, after this guy, right? I mean, not even worried. But if if he's dead... <laughs> Just make the polar bear exhibit, man. We're not gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, this is not an attempted prank. I want to watch this happen. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> we don't have snow yet. We don't have the snow, so we're putting him in here until we get the snow. The snow. Okay, nice. The polar bear exhibit will fit him well, I guess. So Help me get room. Crack, <laughs> you're the worst at pranking. <laughs> Help me make room for him before he suffocates. He's not dead. He's okay. This is it. That's his... <laughs> Look at him. Honestly, I'll let you continue because you suffered so bad trying to- How'd you clean up my thing eventually? Take he my used, advice. He came, he came over and used sponge. Oh, that's- I thought you were gonna do it the hard way. Go away. Way. Okay then. I'll go away, alright. No. Totally not no. Honestly, what's F3B do? Oh, just- Don't do it. Don't do it. It just shows up boxes. It's fine. My box. There was like cake in here, but like you took it all. I remember. Yeah, because you don't barely live here anymore, so go do your own thing. See, hey, you stay here. Go, go, go do your own thing. Go talk, go talk with OK8 or something, someone else. No, also, 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 I'm gonna say this real quick. When we enter, also, when we, also, when we were bringing um Jeff into the, your um house, he killed your par your parrot. You killed my parrot. Yes. Was this purposely because I accidentally killed? Accidentally nope. killed. Nope. Your uh, nope, it wasn't. It, we didn't do it. It was actually Jeff. Jeff attacked the polar bear. Oh, wait, Jeff does it. Yeah, polar bears actually do attack parrots. I've had that happen to me before. If you ask Supreme about it. Ah, uh, memory. Okay. Lork SP. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's still in his little home. Okay, guys, I'm going to be dueling HG Wix right now. Uh,. We did it. We did a couple duels before, but like he broke some rules, so we had to start over. I did die once, so as you can probably see. Okay, that's a that's a that's a shield glitch. The shield is activated. Really sure. Okay, that's a I think I took that damage too. Got that arrow hit on me, but it's proven worth it. GG, baby. GG. <laughs> GG. Ah.
GG. Let's go. We have OK8 rushing after HG Wix. Honestly, this is looking like a great battle so far. HG Wix over there, making sure he's got the good bow aim. And it seems like it's kind of battle of shields, which is a bit of an annoying style, honestly. I've been seeing most people. Yeah. Let's get a closer look over here. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Alright, guys. It is the next morning, and you won't believe how much people are on. One person. And one of them's AFK. So I am basically the only person who's not AFK that's on the server right now. It's like 11 a.m. my time, which is Central Time. 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Kind of weird, ain't it? Anyways, it's been like that for like the past, I don't know, 10 minutes. Anyways, I crafted myself a bunch of firework rockets using all the... I just like basically rid of all the sugar cane over there. and made some paper, and I used all the gunpowder in my inventory at the time. So now we can fly. And we're heading to a desert where we can... Is this? Hmm. It's a base here, apparently. Whatever. Let's head this way now. And I was getting Jeff the polar bear. We found ourselves a desert, and that's what we used to travel him across. Okay. Anyhow, let's take this off. I will be putting on breaking on it soon and mending if uh, anyone ever seems to give me one or is ever gonna actually give me one. Whatever. So for now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill this bitch up with sand and wait what bitch oh now we're getting players back no no stop but yeah i'm just gonna collect some sand maybe do a time lapse and i'll be back with you guys There's my original island I landed at, and we're almost there. Ooh, this, <laughs> the time just changed last minute. Hey, we're here now. Uh, we're in like a Lytra guiding well, I don't want to like, break the Elytra so fast, though. So we're going to switch back now to glass. All right, my dudes. I did some smelting. have one glass left over. But I'm actually not going to... It's so low, I'm going to be very careful with using it. Anyhow, let's get into the time lapse, baby. Alright guys, sadly we didn't have enough to finish this bitch, but definitely one more collection and we'll basically be ready to the to like cover this baby up. And it's actually looking quite good in the bowel, surprisingly. The bowel looks pretty nice, I think, in my opinion. Looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. This kinda looks a little weird though. Cause that was an accident, but whatever. It's fine. I guess like we'll have to deal with that <laughs> ugly appearance. And we're almost done with this project. Uh, the next episode will begin with a time lapse, I think. There might be something that might interrupt that, and I might, like, an event or something, or me up with someone, maybe make it different. But, like, it should begin with the time lapse. And, yeah, we'll finish this up next episode. Thanks, you guys, for, thank you guys for watching. And goodbye, baby.